you doing here? What's wrong, Liberty? Mom, nothing's Are wrong. Are you sick? No, no, no. Well, uh, what's going on, Carly? Nothing. I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't mean to barge in. What? What are you doing? How did you get here? Uh, Mom, I called her. So you asked her to come to New York? No, no. Then why is she here? Be because she's my friend and she happened to be here, so I asked her to go to the museum with me. I thought you wanted to be alone. No, I just needed to get away from you. <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, we're going to be leaving in a few minutes. Why don't you go lie down and rest in your room? Oh, I'm not tired. Oh, I get it. That took a second. Let's just talk behind the sick girl's back. Great. I knew I shouldn't have let her go, even if it was for just an hour. What are you doing here, Carly? Uh, I'm in New York on business. And when Liberty called me, she told me about the costume exhibit. She thought I might be interested in going. Why'd she call you in the first place? I don't know. Maybe because I'm not involved in all the, the medical stuff. Maybe she just needed a break. And so you just had to fly out to be by her side? Actually, Janet, I said no. I thought it might bother you. You're right. Well, I was worried about her on her own, so I, I went to check on her. And you were just kind of hoping that she might invite you to come hang out with us, right? I certainly did not intend to end up here. But when I saw Liberty at the museum, she was with some phony palm reader who was ripping her off. What? Who was telling her that she didn't have long to live. Oh, my God. Obviously, I didn't want to leave her there, so I, I brought her back here. I knew we shouldn't let her go out on her own. It's okay. She's okay. Just a little upset. Well, I, um, I have a lunch appointment. Good luck with the doctors. Carly. Thanks for watching out for her. My pleasure. Let me call your cab. No, Jack. I'm quite certain there are plenty of cabs downstairs. Let me make sure. I'm gonna go talk to Liberty. Thanks again, Carly. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. You were right. There are plenty of cabs outside. Great. I didn't mean to intrude. No, I'm just glad you were there for Liberty. I didn't, I didn't mean Liberty. I meant you too. Yeah. Sorry about that. You don't have to apologize for being affectionate with your wife. No, I'm just saying that we... we we weren't. Well, I mean, we were, we were on the bed, but we weren't, and we, we haven't. Uh, Jack, and I'm, stop I'm, it. Please. It's not my business. I want you to understand. I don't want to understand. You think that will make me feel better? Knowing that the two of you aren't sleeping together? Well, it won't. Uh, Carly, I'm just trying to explain. There's nothing to explain. She's your wife. You are her husband. That's, this is how it's supposed to be. Really? Yes. Okay, then you tell me why whenever I'm with her. I feel like I'm cheating on you. Why are you telling me this? I thought you should know. Why would you think that I would want to know that? You can't say these things to me. You can't talk to me this way. I'm sorry. This is hard enough. And you telling me intimate details about your marriage, details I shouldn't know. They just make it worse. What happened? What do you mean? She was upset. Uh, yeah, she was, she was late for a lunch meeting. Is that all? As far as I know. And uh, we, we have some time uh, to grab some lunch before our next appointment. I'm not hungry. Sure? Yeah, I'm gonna go sit with Liberty until it's time to go. Sorry. It's okay. No, I meant what I said before. 
before about the cheating. Don't worry about it. I shouldn't have said it. No, you shouldn't have. I know you're just trying to, to make things better, but... <laughs> 